Alright, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. So, I have these shelves in my office, and mostly these shelves are just to display toys, but a few of the shelves are actually useful. I keep a bunch of vape stuff right over here, just within reaching distance of my desk, and the stuff that I keep over here is a little bit weird and random. It's stuff that I'm actively using, but might need, like, a rewick or a rebuild or a refill. I get lazy sometimes and when a tank gets empty, like this off-roof gear RTA is just empty right now, rather than like refill it, I just put it over here. I just, well, I'll deal with you later. Like my top side is over here just because the bottle's empty and I've been too lazy to refill it. So it's just like, okay, you go over there for now. But what we're looking for today that I know is over here is this little guy right here. This is the Geek Vape Zeus. X RTA. I've had it for a few weeks now. I've put a few builds in it. The first time I built it, I did a single coil. The second time I did it, I did a dual coil and then I put a single coil back in it because I thought I liked it a little bit more and it turns out that, that I don't really. I've put a few builds in this but I haven't been having really a a good experience with it and I want to have a really good vape experience with this because so many people are are just praising the Geek Vape Zeus X and every time I see people doing that I think in my head I'm like why why don't I enjoy it that much what am I doing differently that's making me not enjoy this very much I do really enjoy the original Geek Vape uh, you know the Zeus Dual RTA that came out in fact I'm a little bit sentimental about that RTA because it's the first RTA like the first any Anything that I built in this office when I did that like hey I'm moving type of vlog so I was really excited about this RTA and I'm determined I'm determined to have a good experience with this I want to get to the bottom of this so what I'm gonna do right now this is empty which is kind of why it's sitting over here It was one of those things that was in need of a refill and I was just being procrastinating but what we're gonna do is uh, pop into the bathroom real quick I I'm gonna take this apart I'm gonna show you the build I have in there right now we're gonna rinse it out rebuild it and see if we can't get a good vape experience out of this geek vape Zeus X because everyone else is and I want to as well damn it I mean, it's okay. It's not, I don't know. It's not as great as people are making it out to be. Maybe my expectations are too high. All right, let's go to the bathroom. So we're gonna tear this down and wash it all out. First things first, does have a very low pro Delrin drip tip. It does come with an Ultem drip tip as well. Very low pro. Your lips are definitely gonna be touching the top of this, which I don't know, it doesn't bother me. Real smooth AFC at the top, stops full open, stops full closed. You can kind of see it's, eh, maybe not. It's in and angled down a little bit. The airflow on this is really interesting. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, pull my deck out of here so you can see what I'm working with. This is the single coil build that I have in here now. Oh, and the chimney came out as well. So yeah, you have this, uh, you have this like little chimney with these airflow holes cut into it. Let me see if I can get those. Airflow holes right there. They, they smooth out that airflow like crazy. They work really well. And then there's a little notch tab system as well for keeping this on here when you're screwing it all together. But that's kind of what I got more or less. It was just like I said, a single coil I threw in there. I don't know. I haven't really been enjoying it. One thing that I have not done with this RTA is sort of, uh, you know, thin out and fluff out my wicks. So I have a few different things that I can try. And this build is coming completely out of here today. And that's Pony on Acid after about a week, which I'm surprised. That's that's uh, that's not bad. Th that coil doesn't look like a nightmare. Yeah, that gives you a pretty good look at the deck there. It's sort of this elevated deck and it's got some big like holes beneath it. Kind of reminds me of the Loop RDA deck just a little bit. These big openings underneath your coils, like underneath your leads, don't serve much purpose. You can't really get in there with clippers to clip your leads and you're going to be needed to, you know, you're going to need to clip your pre-clip your leads before you place them in here anyway. These are flathead screws on the deck, but they come with, uh, you know, Allen key, Phillips, not Phillips head, Allen key, grub screws. So you can swap these out and replace them with whatever screws you like. I like flathead screws. Come on, man. Let my coil go. The glass very easily just pops off with an O-ring, and this is all one piece, one unit here. Nothing else screws apart or comes apart here. But now we got all the parts all nice and rinsed and cleaned off. Let's, let's go build this. Let's go vape this. 
All right, so I got my tools, I got my cotton, I got some fiends coils I'm excited to put in here. Let's build the Geek Vape Zeus Axe. It is honestly real easy to build. It's essentially a postless design. You gotta pre-clip your leads. You can use tools for that. There's the coily tool, which I'm expecting hopefully to get real soon. I'm gonna be using it on that BMI Touch Grim Green Kassaf Fundraiser Edition. I kind of just use any excuse that I can to use this mod. And so right now I'm kind of just gonna go through the process of building this. I'm gonna install these Fiends coils. You gotta pre-clip your leads, put them in there. I'm gonna position my coils and I'm going to wick it, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to like brush out my wicks. I'm gonna thin out my wicks, which is a practice that I have never regularly partaken in, but I hear say that that is one of the things that does help this Geek Vape Zeus X have a really nice vape. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that looks uh, pretty good. Thinned out my wicks. They went in there pretty easy. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic or too like packed in there. I'm just gonna set this airflow chimney on here. Just, get, you know, line up those tabs and stuff just to make sure that your build isn't impeding on anything. Like it's not hitting that chimney or anything. Fiends uses three millimeter coils. So they're a little bit big. I was looking for some Turk two and a half millimeter coils, but that's totally cool. Three millimeter coils seem to be working just fine in here. Just gonna go ahead and juice these up now. I got a big old bottle of three milligram pony on acid just because you know, it's pony on acid. What am I gonna do? Not vape pony on acid? Don't be ridiculous. All right, well, it's all built. It's all wicked, it's all juiced, it's all filled. I got that bubble glass on there. I really genuinely dig the way this tank looks. I'm a big fan of just clean tanks and this is mostly a clean tank. There's a little bit of knurling up here which is actually helpful for getting this on and off when you're refilling it. There's a little bit of knurling and kind of engraving down here but for the most part it's a fairly clean tank. All right, well, what do they say? Fourth time's a charm. Let's give the Geek Vape Zeus X another try. So I got it uh, rebuilt, I got it re-wicked, that was about two hours ago, and I've just been sitting here in that time answering emails and whatnot, exclusively vaping this Geek Vape Zeus XRTA, and it's been really good. It's been better than it ever has before, and I think it's really because of that wicking. I think thinning out the wicks really helps. And I know a lot of people are rolling their eyes right now because this isn't a relatively new thing at all. People have been like, you know, combing out their wicks, thinning out their wicks for a while in RTAs. And up until literally, I mean, literally up until this point, it's not something I really have ever done in the past. But this has just been wicking and vaping like a champion. With the airflow full open, it's real airy. It's very like a... Uh, Cloud Chasey. Real dense, real saturated feeling vapor. The flavor on this isn't, it, it, so it's good. It's fine, okay? It's fine. It's not incredible. I don't want anyone to think that this has like stellar flavor that's gonna be better, like levels above other RTAs, cause it really doesn't. I mean, I can taste my juice, but it's not like super potent. Even with the dual coils in here, it's still not super potent. Where I have found that I like to put the airflow is almost literally like halfway closed. To me, that's the most enjoyable airflow from this, is that 
you know, more restricted, I guess, of a lung hit. Not only does it restrict the airflow down, it smooths it out a little bit, and it also ups the flavor level just a little bit as well. Much more enjoyable, much more enjoyable with that airflow turned down. So the first single coil I put in here, I didn't love it. It was vaping fine, but I felt like I was really missing something with this RTA just because of the way that everybody else was raving about it. So I threw some dual coils in here, but I did not thin out my wicks. And the dual coils were giving me dry hits, dry hits, dry hits. So I went back to the single coil thinking, oh, well, that would be better. That was more enjoyable before when I had a single coil. At least it was like, you know, at least it was wicking, right? The vape might not have been amazing with a single coil in here, but at least it was wicking. But now, now that I've put those three millimeter Fiends Fuse Claptons in here, I, I put a bunch of cotton bacon in here and I thinned the crap out of those wicks. It's just delivering for me right now, like I'm assuming it has been delivering for everybody else who's been enjoying this RTA. And the vape quality from it, really good. I mean, really very good. It vapes like a good RTA should vape. And ultimately, after having that really good vape experience from this Geek Vape X, here's where I land on it. It's good, it's damn good. It's a good RTA. The airflow is overall fairly smooth. The flavor is overall really nice. It's not real overly fiddly to build or wick. Just thin out your cotton and you'll have a great vape with it. Sorry, one thing I didn't mention is it's 25 millimeters. So even on this BMI touch, it, the base it lines up and it's flush, but the actual like bevel of the tank, it kind of comes out a little bit and is just a little bit over the edge of it before it goes out. It's not as like big and bulbousy as that like Advocan Owl tank, which was, I mean, that tank almost looked like a ball <laughs> on top of your mod. This one is, is much more reasonable, much more clean. So ultimately, here's where I land on the Geek Vape Zeus X RTA. I have been having just a stellar time with it today. It's vaping great, the wicking's keeping up, the flavor's nice, the airflow's fairly smooth. It's a good RTA, but it's not like a, a revolutionary RTA. There is truly and honestly not a huge difference in, in, in the final vape experience between this Geek Vape Zeus X and a hundreds of other RTAs on the market. The vape that I'm getting from this is good, but I have had this good of a vape, this quality of a vape from lots of other RTAs, lots of other RTAs. And I kind of just feel like Geek Vape isn't really doing anything super different here. Like, yeah, it's a rad RTA. And if you don't have any RTAs, the Geek Vape Zeus X should be one of the first ones you look for. Now let's get down to brass tax on this. You're not really going to need your vape budget hands. Clicking around the internet, you can find it for about 35 bucks, which is very reasonably priced for what you're getting. It's not for what you for what you getting for what you're getting, and it's not quite in that like cheap enough just to try it. You know, just to buy it, just to try it out area. But it is still fairly reasonably priced. Now, if we're going to play the aliens game or the FDA game, where they have come and take all of my vape gear, and I have nothing left to vape, is the Geek Vape Zeus X something I would seek out and buy right away? I mean, it's a great RTA, but there's other great RTAs that I kind of like more. Not to bring up something that I talked about last week with that Profile Unity RTA I enjoy a little bit more than this. I'm still a huge fan of the Reload Vapor Reload RTA, but like a lot. It's kind of one of my favorite if it's not, like it could be my absolute favorite RTA. And it gives me a very, very similar experience to this. So yeah, I, I wouldn't go out and buy it necessarily. Like I wouldn't make a beeline for the Geek Vape Zeus X RTA, but those that do make a beeline for the Geek Vape Zeus X RTA, you're gonna have a really great vape and that's where I'm gonna end this video today. Links are definitely not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, you guys, always, always, let's keep on vaping.